How to make Orange Tree Farm in Bloxburg, Roblox. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Funland. Here's how to make an orange tree farm in Bloxburg. Orange trees are a type of plant you will find in the build mode. These produce delicious and juicy oranges that sell for a lot on the game. It can be used for decorative purposes in the game or you can harvest and sell them to other players. Different levels in the game help you earn different sums of money. You can grow an orange tree at level 5 for $410 and later sell them for $574 or harvest the oranges for $367. It works perfectly and is an amazing source of earning in the game. You can store 5 oranges in your fridge as your personal snacks as well. If you pluck a raw orange off your tree, you can put it in the fridge for about 120 minutes or 2 hours before you can finally eat it. Step 1. The first step is to go to build mode, followed by decoration, and then click on the garden. Search for orange trees in the search bar and you will come across one of them. You will see that they cost 820 Robux and you must buy one to plant in your garden. Once you select it, you can go ahead and change your grid size as per your requirement and plant as many as you can with your account balance. If you want, you can initially start by planting about 10 trees close to each other. Okay, I'm, yeah, I get it, okay. So I'm just gonna copy this, one, two, three, then like a four. There we go, okay, by the way, orange trees uh, cost 820 per tree, which is really expensive. Um, I luckily have a lot of money, as you can see, but this costs a lot to make, but in the long run, when you harvest these, you will get all the money back, so don't worry about that. Anyways. Now we're just going to go to, let's say, this corner here, and we're just going to put one, two, three, four, and then three on this side, like this, and then one. Note that these trees might seem high on investment at first, but are totally worth it when it is time to harvest. Step 2. The next step is to help your trees grow enough to be able to get harvested. For this, go ahead and get a garden sprinkler to water your trees. It costs 95 Robux and will be a valuable investment for you. It is an ordinary sprinkler that is designed to automatically plant nearby trees and plants. Once you have bought it, place it under the middle tree. Then you can plant more trees beside the middle tree because that will become the source of water for all. This trick is quite handy and helps you work with only one sprinkler for all your trees. You can place as many trees as your bank balance allows. When you're done with this, you will observe a cross shape of your tree plantation. Note that you will want to plant the trees as close to each other as possible so that the water reaches each of them. Have some fun! If you are looking for a change of scenery and want different colored trees, worry not as Roblox has allowed customization of your trees. You can color them differently and even create a pattern that will look appealing from the bird's eye view. Step 3. Place a ladder to make it easier to harvest your crops. You can place it anywhere besides your group of orange trees. At this point, if you are feeling lucky and are in the mood to plant more trees, you can go ahead and follow the same steps as before and make more groups of orange trees. Again, your investment will increase, but you will soon realize the returns on your work. Once you are done, the wait starts. It takes approximately 144 minutes, or 2.4 hours, for the trees to grow before you can harvest them. So you have to stay in the game for this long and wait for your trees. The number of stacks is dependent upon you. And this is now possible because of the 0.8.5a update, the cost per tree was reduced. So to help you calculate your earning, your earning will be over 19.8k if you follow our steps that will give you about 81 trees per stack. For decoration. Money is not the only purpose of creating an orange tree farm on the game. Trees are part of nature and give your surroundings a fresh and earthy feel. If you are looking for the same in Bloxburg, Using these trees and a farm full of these trees will totally fulfill your desires. If you have a big house plot, you can leave a small space for a farm behind it. It can also serve as a backyard and kitchen garden if you think in the long run. You can plant and harvest the orange trees at one time, and then other vegetables and fruit plants later to have your homegrown items. That will be super amazing. Follow the steps below to get your kitchen garden or decorative backyard. Step 1. Get a garden sprinkler and sprinkle plenty of water around your farm. Do not shy away from nourishing your garden as much as you can. It will only proceed to give good health and nutrition to your plants. If you are looking forward to planting on a chunk of your farm, you can water it to the core 
and if you are focusing on your entire backyard, water each and every corner to help your plants grow to perfection. Step 2. You can proceed to buy and plant as many orange trees as your Robux balance allows. Do not hesitate to put extra trees, they are a great source of decoration with a fresh environment and, just like real life, will serve to boost your mood in the game as well. If you live in a clean surrounding, your standard of living increases, and you want the same in the game as well. Make sure to design and set your tree stack to make it look appealing from the top. We told you before about the option to change the color of your trees. You can go as far as painting them blue or red if you want them to stand out in your backyard and have your neighbors grow envious of you. Next, make sure you are working along the grid lines and not violating rules because that will lead to your farm losing its aesthetic appeal. Step 3. Then, you can place walls around your stack of trees. This will prevent other people from ruining your efforts and will keep your plants protected. You are at liberty to give any texture and marble look to your wall to make them stand out. This step is vital for your farm and will also give your backyard a composed look. Remember to attach a ladder towards the edge of your walls so that you can climb above and grab your homegrown fruits. You will soon have an abundance of oranges in your house and you can even set up a stall to sell them. Everything in the game is a source of your earning if you are creative enough. You can take this one step ahead and also put lights around your tree stack. Additionally, try to make your backyard brighter with lights surrounding it so that the environment isn't gloomy for anyone. Step 4. This step is the one you have worked so hard for. Your backyard is now completed and you can go ahead and give it final touches with design or other decorations. After that, give your farm a look from all angles and admire the beauty you have created. You will not be disappointed. Fun fact! In late 2019 and early 2020, an orange tree glitch resulted in the production of mass numbers of orange trees and made massive profits off of it rather than working at the farm. This bug advantaged uncountable players in the game and were able to become rich without any effort. Sad for them, the glitch was later fixed and profits from their harvest was decreased as well. Truly amazing, you will absolutely enjoy it. Roblox has a game for everyone, for children and for adults. This game suits adults the best. It is the perfect getaway from their real lives into a simulation that works exactly like the real world but only takes your mind places with creativity and innovation. You can add, subtract, design, and be wild in Bloxburg. Everything in this game is top-notch and is perfect. It is truly a masterpiece worthy of appreciation. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.